Welcome, welcome. Thank you. So we just came from Northern Michigan from winter testing, and that worked out really well for us. And so now we've moved tray one to Northern Indiana to another proving ground to continue the powertrain validation testing. And that so far is going really well. Okay, we'll do it. I'll, I'll call you back. All OEMs will take their vehicles to a proving ground to make sure every corner case is covered, any scenario is actually covered. And we do it here because we can simulate a much more um, extreme environment than open road. Whatever's going to happen on the open road after, say, 200,000 miles will happen to us here at a much sooner mileage, given the type of testing we're doing. Well, here we are. First attempt at a 20% grade in the proving ground. Let's see how it goes. Give me the countdown whenever you're ready. Roger that. Here we go in three, two, one, gone. Good, good, good. That was super easy. I mean, totally as expected. Just torque is all there. It was, it was easy. It was good. Let's do it again. We're out here doing powertrain validation testing, and we're testing efficiency right now at 82,000 pounds load. And we're also evaluating uh, top speed with 82,000 pounds of load, which is actually quite surprising for a BEV. I'm looking forward to seeing what the top speed is with the weight on the truck presently. He's going 74, 75. 75 miles an hour. It's not bad. Who's not going to love that? There's no drama, there's no diesel noise, no emissions. What's not to love with that? Yes, very happy with that result. Very, very happy. This has got more power than I ever thought a Class A truck would have. This is a substantial load, and it pulls it without any hesitation. I can accelerate on demand. I can brake on demand. The vehicle just takes it. Just goes with it. We'll brake test. In three, two, one, braking. Not bad. Not bad at all. We're moving very quickly. It's a startup. Every day is going to be different. There's going to be new challenges every day. The end result relies on your problem solving skills and, and how to navigate tough waters. And everybody's all in. We're all working to, to deliver on schedule. Everybody's doing it with a lot of enthusiasm. We're getting ready to go out on the track and simulate 6% grade. So how we're doing that is we have a tow dyno attached to the back of this uh, rig. So what the tow dyno does, it basically uh, absorbs energy from the movement of the truck. So how it does that is through AC motors connected to your driveline and we can accurately simulate any road grade up to 26% with this. The most extreme roads in the country, uh, trucks aren't allowed on those because they're simply too steep, the turns are too tight, the elevation's too high, whatever the reason is. But what we can actually do is simulate that road condition with this dyno and emulate what's going on, let's say in Sonora Pass or the Coquihalla, and give you a really good idea how your truck's gonna perform because you can simulate that great.
don't think we've effectively found the limits of this truck yet. We're, we're testing to a certain set of requirements, and those requirements are pretty steep, but so far everything's worked out really well. It feels good. She runs, she runs very well. We didn't have any snags, there's no faults. Uh, we're going home on time today. <laughs> The one thing that for me describes driving this Nicola Trey is not a job. And for people who drive a truck, shifting gears, 18 speeds, 21 speeds, with this truck here, there's no work. It's truly a game changer. Oh yes, and by the way, it's very fast. <laughs> So yesterday we were out here doing some fun things and it uh, occurred to us that maybe we should line up next to our F-350, our transport truck, just to see what would, what would come of it. Yeah, I mean, this is where the industry is going. Sweet. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>